Uh, my name is Mark Detman. I'm a constituent. Uh, I'm an environmental scientist by education and work in the industry. Um, uh, I, w I was proud to have your sign on my lawn during the election, uh, mostly because of my disdain for the, uh, the previous government, but uh, we are where we are today. Anyways, just to save time, uh, my single question to you relates to Site C in BC. Uh, specifically, uh, I'm sure you're aware of all the, the comments, pro and cons, but uh, somewhat recently a interesting article was proposed by a author in BC that linked the construction of Site C to the, um, to the plans from the 1960s and 1970s for bulk water transports from uh, Canada down to the US and with the Site C location being uh, exactly where one of the proposed locations were. Um, so with that in mind, I'm wondering in this government's decision to support Site C, whether or not the implications via NAFTA for bulk water transports were ever considered. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Site C uh, was approved um, by the previous government. It's making its way through the courts. I understand the sensitivities. I understand that the Peace River Valley is very sacred ground for many indigenous peoples. I understand that there are values that are held dear that are uh, now being debated uh, in the courts in Canada. And I also remember as a younger Manitoban in the 1970s, the controversies when we flooded South Indian Lake. Uh, when we flooded vast areas of indigenous property uh, in order to build a hydro dam in Manitoba. Uh, the good news is that when you build upstream from these dams, the flooding stops and the energy that you produce is truly renewable and truly without consequence. Except for the battery release, the works just to, out. Well, okay, so you don't want hydro development. Uh, you don't no, want fossil fuel clean. development. Yeah. Oh, it is clean. No, no. Well, it's like, cleaner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, cleaner. Will anyone go for cleaner tonight? So uh, I know, I understand the controversies very well. And I have uh, a cabinet of colleagues who are fully immersed in the subject uh, and who know more about the details uh, than I do. Uh, and I also know that uh, meaningful Indigenous engagement on natural resource projects uh, is as deep now as it has ever been. And I also know, as I'm sure people in this room know, that indigenous communities are no different than the group of people in this room tonight. Strongly held views on natural resource development. And uh, listen to National Grand Chief Perry Belliger on this. He talks about a balance. He talks about meaningful engagement and accommodation. So the very kinds of conversations that we're having in this constituency tonight are being played out in indigenous communities all across Canada when the subject of jobs can be in contrast to environmental stewardship where individuals within those communities have to decide, and leaders within those communities have to take a position, exactly like the government of Canada would have to do.